a middle school student facing felony charges for bringing Delta 9 THC gummies to school and handing them out, causing some students to get sick. But under federal regulations, Delta 9 is not illegal. Tonight, Queen City News anchor Casey Jones is digging deeper into what is and how it's sold in stores throughout the Carolinas. Delta 9 THC is nothing new. It's one of more than 120 different variations of cannabis. It comes in different forms like these gummies. And as you can see on the package, it's completely legal. So this is another North Carolina company. Mm -hmm. Inside uh, blue flower stores in the Queen City, there are choices. CBD, Delta 8, Delta 9, CBN. They each kind of have a slightly different effect. Owner Jocelyn Brown says Delta 9 THC is touted for its psychoactive effects, among other potential uses. Um, inflammation and pain are very common. It's also very relaxing and can be helpful with sleep. The cannabis strain is the center of conversation after a Lakeshore Middle School student brought Delta 9 THC gummies on campus, sending some students to the hospital. If it was liquor or if it was acetaminophen or other kind of, you know, even cold and flu medicine, you would be scared if, if a child got in and, and started taking more than they should. So I would say it was just that same level of safety that you would want to take with any of those types of products to protect it. Authorities now say the female student could face felony possession with intent to sell or deliver. But the Drug Enforcement Agency does not recognize Delta 9 with less than 0.3% THC as a controlled substance. They're not illegal to possess. Um, what this means is that anyone can access them, whether online, or at convenience stores or at smoke shops. Attorney Rod Kite says common sense regulations can help keep the product out of the wrong hands. There are no laws on the books. There's no regulations in North Carolina that would prohibit that. So the hemp industry, and as someone who represents businesses in the industry, wants regulations that are reasonable. And Brown says education can help consumers understand how to use legal products responsibly. Once you start learning more and get more educated about the nuances of the medical benefits, and the ability to use it in many different people, not just um, for recreational use, that you start to understand that it's not as scary as it used to be. As you can see from this flowchart, there's a lot of information to consume about cannabis. Blue Flowers hosts the Queen City Cannabis Cup once a year to help educate people. It was actually last Saturday, so keep your eyes open for 2023. Reporting in Charlotte, Casey Jones, Queen City News.